doing that this morning. We have Tessa, we have Brian, and we are talking healthiest streets in Ames, our healthiest street Ames. We need to know what this is all about uh, because right now you hear a lot about what the, the state healthiest initiative. We want to be the right. healthiest state. This is a little bit different. Uh, so mm -hmm. tell us about the event coming up this weekend. Yeah, so we're actually with Healthiest Ames. We're a nonprofit located in Ames. Mm -hmm. And right now we are working to get a complete streets policy in Ames. And that policy will create more bikeability, walkability in the city, connect the bike paths. So this event is hosted to educate everybody about that policy, to kind of experience what the streets will look like once that policy is in place, and then to also encourage physical activity so we're gonna have tons of activity from Burnett to Douglas Avenue down in downtown Ames this Sunday from 1 to 4 p.m. so what is gonna happen with the streets like how much of a difference is it gonna make if this program goes through sure so actually there's gonna be a bike lane example set up on Burnett Avenue so everybody that have, uh, mm -hmm. um, comes to the event will actually be able to ride their bikes through Burnett Avenue to actually experience what those bike lanes will be like and what mm -hmm. it's going to be like biking through those streets. Good idea. Yeah, so the six blocks that we have for the event, the outside lanes will actually be open so people are able to bike around all the various activities. They can walk, um, just kind of get a feel for mm -hmm. having fun in the streets when there's not traffic. And let's, so the event you're talking about is Healthy Streets. Healthy Streets. Yeah. This Sunday, one to four, and you mentioned mm -hmm. six block air. I mean, that's that's a big chunk of city. Yeah. Right. All for this event now. <laughs> uh, so someone shows up, what are they gonna find there? Yeah, so they're gonna find a lot of different activities. We're partnering with some really awesome organizations. So Ames Park and Rec will be there. They'll have an entire block, so they'll be doing basketball on the street with kids. They're having wow. a huge um, bags tournament, cornhole, um, as some people call it. So they'll have a variety of different activities. We have a huge 25-foot uh, monster piano oh. uh, that we're going to have on the ground. A so 25-foot piano? Yeah. So kids can you know dance on it, play music. Oh, it's um, like in the movie Big, where like they in jump the movie on Big. the keys? Exactly. Yeah. I love so that. we'll have mm -hmm. one of those on one of the blocks. Uh, there'll be um, the Ames Fire Department and the Police Department will be there, so they'll be doing fitness tests with kids, so mm -hmm. dummy drags, hose drags, just different ways to get kids physically active. Um, we'll also have a big stage set up, and we'll have um, fitness classes going on throughout the entire event, so wow. we'll have Zumba, Insanity, Yoga, mm -hmm. um, cardio dance, all sorts of different activities. So um, the High V will be there with their wellness bus, so um, folks can come out and get blood pressure checked, different things like that. So it's kind of a variety of just different activities for all ages, very family friendly. Um, you know, and this is our second event. We had one in May. Um, so we're just looking to expand it every time and get more people out. Well, I'll tell you what, you've got great weather forecast for it right now. And I think yeah. this part of year, you know, we're just getting out of the real tough heat. So, right. And, and right now, uh, you know, Jason Parker told us we're looking at like 70s and yeah. a nice little sun and overcast. Yeah. So it should be a great day for you guys Perfect out there. Perfect day. Yeah. We're, so really we're, really, we're really excited about it. Yeah. So keeping people healthy, but also in a, especially like you said, with a special bike lane, trying to get people, the city to move forward with something like that. Mm -hmm. As much as you see people biking and right. trying to be more healthy in the state, the results come out that we're not doing enough in mm -hmm. this exactly. state yep. uh, to make people safe while exactly. they are going out and doing these activities. So learning mm -hmm. more about that, is that uh, the big initiative with this organization? Yep. Yes, it is. And active transportation is a huge issue as far as public health goes. We want people to mm -hmm. be actively going to work and, and walking and, and getting mm -hmm. that physical activity, getting your 10,000 steps every day. Um, and for this event, uh, kind of our biggest hope too is that people have the opportunity to try these new activities. They're, they'll be able to try Zumba, they'll be able to try yoga, and maybe leave inspired to make that part of their daily mm -hmm. lives as well. So that's a huge hope. You know what's interesting about what you mentioned? Uh, connectivity, meaning you can ride a bike this far, but this <laughs> chunk, they use the term shared roadway. Yep. And that's mm -hmm. where it gets real dangerous, where maybe right. two lanes, so, so what you're trying to do, your, your overall initiative, let's figure out a way to find some funding and, uh, and make bike lanes, et cetera. Right. Yeah, make people healthier. Interesting. Yep. It makes sense. Yep. How much does it cost if people want to be a part of the Sunset? Totally free. Yep. There you go. So it's a great time. The price is right. The price, price is, is right. right. Yeah. Perfect yeah. for the <laughs> entire family. Head up to Ames, folks. Downtown Ames, one to four uh, for Healthy Streets. Ames. If people want more information, more details on everything that you guys are doing there, uh, where can they get more details? We have a website, healthiestames.org. You can also find us on Facebook. So search Healthiest Ames and you'll find all of our information there too. All Tessa right. and Brian. Killing it. Yay. Awesome. Thank, Thank you guys you so, so much, much for yeah. being here. Downright <laughs> proud to salute a great local organization along with Cybersport Lincoln. We'll be right back.